of what China does is keep the exchange rate of their currency down. This makes their exports cheap to buy, which means other nations, especially the United States, buys a lot of them. This adds to our balance of trade deficit, while China's export economy remains strong. China keeps the value of their currency artificially down by purchasing U.S. dollars. They now hold going on four trillion dollars of convertible currency reserves. Not only does this make our exports expensive, it gives them a trump card. Any time they wish, they can unload these dollars and buy out any U.S. business. Because we refuse to live within our means, we buy more and more debt and pay interest on it. China is the largest holder of our federal debt, which puts them in a precarious position. China has too much bargaining power in any negotiation with the United States. We often wonder why our leaders do not take steps to protect the American economy. The reason may be as simple as fear. They fear how China will react, since China does not want our economy protected because they are preying on it. They can threaten all sorts of harm to us if we do not act in a way that pleases them. We put ourselves in this position through foolish and destructive policy decisions. We cannot blame China for trying to get ahead. We must ask ourselves why we keep falling behind. We must extricate ourselves from the predicament we have allowed ourselves to fall into.